What's going on YouTube? Steven Eslaga here. So today we're doing a curtains haircut tutorial and I want to get right into it. So when you think about curtains, and I used to get a lot of requests for this, it seems like it's a commonly used term. You know, like I don't, I don't, I don't come across it too often or I've never used it in my career. Uh, but basically it means it's, it's like curtains are hanging down like this. The hair is just basically hanging down with a center part or a side part. Everything else is short, except this is really the longest point in through here, parted down the middle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to kind of break this down more towards the end of it. I want you guys to kind of see how I go about cutting this so we can kind of speed up the time a little bit. Uh, but do pay attention to what I'm doing, follow along, and then we'll break it down towards the end. All right guys, so now I'm gonna break down the curtains haircut tutorial that I did. And basically what I did is I started off in through here and created my length right into the nape area, okay? It's, just, it's really important that you establish this first because this really helps set you up for how you're gonna create the length in through here. Then I held everything straight out from the head and just really blended it all in, creating a nice shape going from shorter where it's about, I'd say an inch in through here, the most half an inch to an inch and then we go up to an inch and a half, two inches and three inches. And all this in here is probably about, you know, three inches long. Uh, and then the key to this whole haircut is creating a, you know, shorter to then longer point right into the front so that this is the curtain area. This is what hangs down. And also connecting it all is very, very important. So we went from the shorter part into the back by holding us all straight out from the head and cutting it going towards the face this way, cutting the top, the corners and then the sides by pulling everything straight out so that it all has a nice seamless flow to it. And now as far as styling goes, you know, you saw what I did with the styling. I just used a blow dryer and I kept it very, very natural. I didn't put any products in it because I think sometimes haircuts like this look better when it's just all natural. Now, depending on your hair type, obviously, it all really depends on, you know, how maybe frizzy your hair is or how dry you might need. You might need a little product I would use something like my shadow product or maybe 25 spray as a pre-styler and just, just blow dry. You don't want to put any sort of like heavy paste or waxes or pomades because this kind of look is just all about being very, very natural and letting the hair fall like a curtain, just letting it kind of fall naturally and being as natural looking as possible. So this pretty much is the haircut and I hope you guys enjoyed it. All right, YouTube, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and click the bell so you're notified of when my videos go live three days a week and maybe even five days a week. I'm just posting out a lot of content so I can keep engaged with you guys. Um, and let me know if you found this video helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time for more videos with the Salon Guy.